Hi, welcome to Paint Coach. I'm Chris Fornatero here to help simplify old paints so you can get better faster. Today I'm going to be talking about painting lips. So let's get to it. So I've got my canvas pad here and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a uh, wash of burnt umber uh, using my burnt umber and mineral spirits to kind of draw and block out where the mouth is going to be. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get the line of where the uh, two lips meet and anchor that. Uh, with the corners of the mouth. These corners of the mouth are very important. I'll talk more about them as the painting progresses. And as I was drawing it, I realized that I didn't get the angle right, that I didn't uh, angle it uh, going up with the right, uh, right corner of the mouth being a little bit higher. So I made sure to change that and just kept on going. All right, now I'm just gonna speed things up a bit as I block in the lips. And then I'm going to darken in the corners of the mouth uh, with a crimson that I darkened using uh, burnt umber as well. All right, so with the corners of the mouth, it's important to know what's going on because a lot of times it just might seem like it's in shadow and, and you know, I have to really look. And also when you're painting women, they have like lipstick and the lipstick can continue down there. But, you know, like say right here, it's hard to see. I'll outline it like the lip. That's really the outline of the lip right there. And then it goes up right there. But what's happening is that the, the skin right here is being tucked back into the corner of the mouth. So you got the corner of the mouth, just kind of put that right there. Then you have this skin that is, you know, is going and getting tucked back in. Uh, same with on this side, you, know, you got this skin being tucked back in here. And you'll see later on, you know, I'll keep on having to like repaint this uh, whenever I lose it from painting lips. I might, you know, because sometimes it's really easy for people to like kind of continue the lip out this way, but then you have to like cut back in with some skin to really get that uh, curve. And same with the um, the bottom here, the skin is actually going and getting tucked back in like that. And a lot of times what you'll get is uh, like a pretty good highlight, like right in here. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. I don't see it on this side, but on here in this picture, you'll see later on I do uh, paint it in. But just knowing like what is going on here with the skin being tucked back into the corner of the mouth uh, and just understanding that is really gonna help you form and shape um, this top lip. All right, in this video, I'm not gonna really talk that much about color because there's such a variety of different colored lips depending on the person, if they're wearing lipstick, if they're not, you know. So there's no one set of colors for lips. So I'm just not gonna, I'm gonna keep it simple and just not really discuss color, but more of the shape and form and shading of the lips. Now, a really common mistake that people tend to make is they make the line of where the li lips meet way too dark. Uh, I see this a lot and so you just have to be really careful and really looking at your reference and getting the values correct and seeing exactly how dark this is. Like in this one it is dark but it's not the darkest that I could go. So always be aware of that because it is a very common mistake. So I have this cylinder shape here and it's just looking up the bottom like this is the bottom of the cylinder and you, I put a mouth on it and this is kind of the way you need to see the mouth in relation to it being on the head, head which is a a cylinder shape you know it's going to be like the rest of the head would be up here then you have the eyes and the nose and just knowing that because the that means that the mouth is going to be arced like that and this is going to create you know certain shadows like in this picture the light is obviously coming from this side we have uh, light it's coming from here and for example this upper lip right here is going to be a lot lighter than this side of the lip right over here. So this is gonna be kind of more in shadow in general because there are um, different planes of the lip. Like this is one plane. You can say a plane here, plane there, plane there, and then here, and there. So just realizing that, you know, the, the lips aren't just on like a perfectly flat surface, uh, that it is curved and it's gonna cause, you know, certain uh, highlights and shadows and just being aware of the planes of the lips and how the light is going to hit them is very important uh, with how you paint them. Another thing they're saying is that the lips are going, you know, back and in, you know, it's all being tucked back into the opening of the mouth. So make sure you are indicating uh, with your shadows and highlights this uh, effect of it being a cylinder. I feel I see a lot of people that just put the lips plain and they just end up painting them too flat. Uh, there's not enough definition or curve or volume to them and that's because they're not really realizing 
uh, the cylinder shape of the lips and the fact that they are being tucked back in like that. Now something to be aware of and look out for is that a lot of times the upper lip is going to be a lot darker than the bottom lip because the upper lip is going to be you know, more flat against the face. It's not coming out like the bottom lip is and catching a lot of light. So that's just a, kind of a good thing to be aware of and look for. And as I build the painting, I'm constantly going back and redefining and constructing the corners of my mouth. And just like our top lip, our bottom lip is gonna be lighter on the right side because of the direction of the light source. Now a very big mistake that I see people make is that they make the value difference between the lips and the skin around the lips way too different. Yes, is, you know, if someone's wearing, you know, a darker lipstick or something like that, it's going to be pretty, you know, bold and different. But if you just got, you know, a natural look, you really got to pay attention and notice that a lot of times where the skin and the lips meet, it's not that different and the edges are really soft. So always be aware of your values and making sure you're not making things too dark or too light. And look for those parts where the lips and the skin meet uh, where the connection is actually pretty soft and subtle. A lot of just people think of the corners of the mouth as just going, you know, this way, but they're really going this way. And they're gonna get darker as they're going back kind of into the mouth. So make sure you're looking for those areas of when it starts to get darker uh, going into the corners of the mouth. And the same goes for the skin around the lips. Uh, Cause the skin is getting tucked uh, back in there too along with the lips. So look for the uh, darkening uh, of the skin as it gets tucked back into those corners. All right, I'm gonna speed up with this part because I'm not doing anything new. I'm just doing what I've said, just kind of over and over again uh, in different sections of the painting. Now when it comes to the highlights, be very careful uh, to not overdo it. You know, if you have really glossy lips and you are going for like a really high, shiny look, you know, you're gonna have some pretty strong highlights. But if not, you know, just be aware and, and be really subtle with the highlights and, and slowly uh, push them to where they need to be. Just realize that these highlights are there, uh, just like the shadows that we put in earlier, they're there to help indicate the, the curved shape of the lips. And as you work the painting, it's easy to lose things that you established early on, uh, like the skin coming down far enough and being tucked into the corners of the mouth. So I'm constantly going back and readjusting and, and fixing that as I go. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, before you go, you might want to watch another video. I suggest this one here, or possibly this one. My arms are getting tired.